Redivus just sent me this package. Let's go ahead and open it up, see what's inside. Here it is, the Aylance, or Islands. It comes straight from Redivus. Let's go ahead, open it up, and see what exactly is inside. Which, let's go ahead and open up right here. And as you can see, it comes pretty well packaged with the user manual on top, which you know I have to go through first to make sure it all looks good. So first up, we do have, of course, the user manual. And after I read through it a little bit, I'd say this thing does go pretty in depth of how to use it. I mean, this thing even goes straight into depth on how to look into the DTMF features, which almost nobody knows how to use. But even if you've never used a radio, this can probably be used to teach you how to use the radio. After all, GMRS is known for being a plug-and-play system. Up next, we have the programming cable, which, if you notice, is not your standard K-type or Baofeng-type programming cable. No, this has its own little three-pin port that makes it to where it can keep its waterproofness while it's on there so that you can screw it in there and it cannot fall out while you're actually programming your software. Of course, you've got your charging base, which, if you notice, it actually has three pins over here on the right to click in. Along with it came the charging cable, which comes separate for a good reason. It means that you can plug it straight into your radio to charge it up, meaning you can plug it into your car or something along those lines and plug it up, or you could plug it into your car and keep it plugged into here to charge even faster. The handy-dandy little belt clip. The wrist strap, which you can never live without. And the piece de resistance, the radio itself. Now this thing has some good weight to it. It's the first thing I noticed whenever I picked it up. It doesn't weigh nothing. It has some weight to it because it's waterproof and the buttons are all very clickable. They're very easy to press. And if you notice, there is a screw here. That's how you know it's waterproof because it'll actually make it to where you can't unlock the programming thing without screwing it out, plugging it in, etc. While I'm looking at it, I notice that this does not seem to want to come off, so they want you to use this, which tells me it is a pre-tuned GMRS antenna, which is good because that's the exact type of antenna that you're going to want. Something else I notice is that this channel selector knob up here is a continuous turn, which means instead of using the buttons to go up and down on the channels, you use this, but you don't need to worry about setting up 16 channels and going back and forth and selecting zones if you don't want to. Another way you can tell it's waterproof is whenever you take out the battery you notice that it has a little rubber gasket around it that's to make sure that uh, you know you don't get any water into the actual charging ports along with a little air pressure hole for whenever it does get water on it let's go ahead turn it on and see what it looks like it almost kind of turns on like how you would uh, see a Motorola or something in DMR would turn on with a big LED screen. So as I'm sitting here and I'm going through all these menu options, I realize just how many there are. I mean, here's the radio settings. I'll have to go through all these eventually. Uh, just all these different radio settings. And each one just goes into so many different things that, I mean, I'm going to have to end up covering. And as you see, the uh, channel selecting knobs just, you know, do everything. So many different things. You can change all the functions of every single key on the actual radio. Uh, you can go into your different audio settings and everything like that. It is a very detailed radio. And keep in mind, that was just all in the radio settings. Then you can go into zone settings and uh, channels, scan, everything. Everything has a setting, including even the weather alarm which, by the way, you would always want on if you're out camping, hiking, or anything else. Like I said, there is so much in this radio I can't even go over in one video. I'm going to have to make this like a five or six part series. But to end this specific video, I'm definitely going to have to uh, end on a speaker and audio test, at least with myself, using one of these cheap little walkie-talkies. One. Now we'll go ahead and sit this here and see how it sounds. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and 
put that alarm in there just so uh, we can see what the alarm sounds like on here. And like I said, the best part about this thing to me is the fact that it is completely waterproof. And I will have to go and test that in the next couple videos. If you're really interested in this radio, you can get it for an additional $5 off using the code HA. 1GMRS. And for those who need it spelled out, it's HA1GMRS. And I have to say, even though I haven't gotten to fully test this thing out, I think I'm already falling in love with it.